hello happy crafters how is everybody doing today hopefully you guys are having a marvelous day today I'm here to share with you guys some items that I received from globalland.com all right my friends I am back now I do want to do a quick little disclaimer this um, video is my third time doing this video so I have already unpackaged everything I had an issue because my camera was glitching out so I had to purchase a new one and so now my friends I am on a brand new webcam hopefully the quality is better than the one that we were experiencing before even though I think that the quality before wasn't too too bad um, hopefully this one is better but my friends I want to say real quick thank you to Global Lands for sending me these awesome items to uh, you know try out play with and share and without further ado we're gonna get right into it my friends so I've received some items from them and I do want to say that everything was nicely packaged and secure not only did they come in these really thick packaging bags they also came wrapped up in bubble wrap a couple you know they wrapped it a couple times so it came with really really good wrapping so the first thing that we're going to discuss is going to be uh, these metal cutting dies that I received now I haven't made any samples yet there will be a follow-up video to this one where I will share with you guys some samples so today um, I'm here to share with you guys um, the dies and the stamps that I received my friends so without further ado let's get right into it so the first thing um, that I received was this um, well one of the first things that I, that I opened up was this little house cutting die and the package itself comes with a set of two we have this really small miniature house um, that I think is gonna be super super adorable it also has like a little hook here on the top for you to be able to you know use them for like Christmas tree ornaments or you know just about anything else you can always cut that off as well if you would like um, but I think this is gonna be super cute once I put it together and assemble it and uh, that's the first one this other one here, um, it also makes a house, but I'm not sure what the roof is supposed to be. So I don't know if this is supposed to be like a little caddy, like a little open um, house. But again, this is another super cute one, a uh, nice little size as well. And I'm going to be assembling this one real soon. I'm very excited. It comes with the doors, the windows, it even comes with the trim. It's even got some cute little candy canes. A little heart some shutters and it's just super adorable and a very nice size as well so those two come in a set and I will leave a link to um, global land down below so that you guys can go ahead and check these out and remember to use my coupon code happy day crafts five and you'll get five dollars off of your forty dollars or more purchase the next one is the set of four and this is labeled as a fairy princess die set um, and it's got other wording as well but again I'll try to link all of these different sets down below so that you guys can go ahead and check them out um, and it comes with four and I thought that this was super adorable and it's got a nice size to it we have this really pretty princess um, with this really cute dress that's got little flowers cut out of it she's on a balcony she seems to be reading some kind of a scroll we also have some butterflies um, in front of the door or the window opening and I think this is super super adorable super cute and again it's got a really nice size to it as well this other one here kind of reminds me more of a Christmas um, with the three kings and you know we have the star up there so it, very, it reminds me a lot of a Christmas scene not so much of a fairy scene but it came with the set and I think it's you know um, if I use it it will probably be for uh, Christmas but it's a nice size and I think for the front of a card a Christmas card especially that will look super cute the next one here is this pumpkin carousel again giving me Cinderella vibes and Disney all the way through and through um, it's super cute. It's got these really ornate wheels and I like the door in the center of the pumpkin It's really really adorable and I think that this you can use in so many different ways and in so many different types of projects You know for Halloween for Thanksgiving and even for Christmas um, Or when you're trying to create something that is you know uh, Disney related or Cinderella related this would be really cute with that 
The next one is what to me looks like the Disney castle. Um, and again, it's really cute. It's got this nice oval, I think on the front of a card or even a journal. Um, this will look super cute, super pretty. And I've got a few ideas for how I'm going to use this um, cutting die uh, with some upcoming projects. So definitely stay tuned for that. All right, my friends, moving right along. Now I have gone ahead and taken my stamp sets for the most part out of their packaging. And I've put them in my own uh, packaging here. So let me just go ahead and take them out. And I kept them all together so that as I go using them, then I'll go figuring out what category they fit in, which they're all going to be mostly in the same category. Um, but here we go. So the next one is this stamp set here. I already took it out of the packaging because I kind of ripped it when I was taking it out. So I just kind of left it out. But it's a super, super cute uh, set. Let me go ahead and bring the camera down to you guys so that you guys can see how awesome this set is. friends so this is what this awesome little stamp set looks like and I actually have um, used it already once because again my um, I had already recorded a video that I was going to be sharing with you guys but the, the video just got really really super glitchy and so I knew it was time to replace um, the camera and so this one's really really nice um this one is a christmas themed one where we have some christmas um sentiments in this set right here we have this really cute bird sitting on some holly leaves and we have this really nice mailbox for sending your christmas letters right to santa we have this little nest with some eggs this cute little heart cluster a little star cluster we have some flying mail we also have this cute little bird cage with another little bird right there and another cute little bird house sitting there and then we have this ornate little lamp sitting here on the side and again super adorable and this one i per um this one i picked it was a single just a single one and I, I picked it because i liked the mailbox and i liked the birdhouse as well as the lamp so it's got a lot of cute uh stamps in this set right here and just to show you guys a quick little a sneak peek into a little card that i made using this specific stamp stamp set right here and it's nothing out of this world there's nothing fancy you guys i basically just used up some scraps just testing it out and seeing how i you know how I would go about it so this is the little card that I made now I went ahead and I stamped out the little letters that you guys see here in this stamp set and I also stamped out the mailbox and then I colored it in with some alcohol markers and then um, just glued it on top so the little letters as well as the mailbox are mounted right on top of the card um, the background was used with um, different ink sprays and just splashes and you know giving it that metallic Kind of splash background and this is a very mixed media type of card and then the hearts are just um a set of stickers that i had that i purchased i believe from dollar general um they were like a dollar during valentine's and i still have a few so i used them up on this um the front cover of this card and then on the inside my paper like i said i was using scraps so my paper itself was a little bit short on the ends so all I did was I added some double-sided tape and I added some washi tape that I thought would match um, the color scheme nicely. And I used the smaller stamp of the two, the little heart, um, the little small envelope. And then I just stamped out all the borders along um, the base of the card. And then the back again with the mixed media style and the metallic-y uh, effects and splashes. So this is one of the cards that I made using this stamp set here so super super cute the other ones I have yet to use um, but I'm very excited to use them so the next one up uh, this is gonna be a set of nine pieces and this is like a botanical floral set all of these are gonna be like botanical florals and foliage and um, it has a lot of pretty flowers in it as you guys can see now I'm not very good at the names of the flowers but you guys can see how beautifully detailed these stamp sets are super super pretty absolutely love it and there's such a variety of flowers and foliage in the set it's very nice and the price was not bad for a nine piece set of stamps you guys 
So again, definitely go and check out globallands.com. Don't forget to use my code HAPPYDAYCRAFTS5 for $5 off your $40 purchase. This one's very cute as well. This one you can definitely use for maybe a Christmas theme. We have some roses. Uh, we have this nice little um, bouquet here and a little uh, vase with a handle and again some foliage and some leaves and stuff like that super super cute here we have another one and this one's really really pretty these look like carnations to me maybe i'm wrong but that's what these some of these look like um and i think it's super gorge and um we have some roses and again some more foliage and we have this really cute vase And it's got a lot of nice arrangements in this set. In this set here, we feature some tulips and we have this beautiful bouquet of tulips here. We also have tulips in a row so that if you're making a card or you're making like a, um, a scene, like a picnic scene or an outdoor scene, then these will look really, really nicely along maybe a house or a tree or maybe some um, little animals like a deer or a rabbit or something like that super super cute and then we have some single ones as well and some also some additional foliage pieces there so another beautiful stamp set in this set this one here features roses and we have roses in different styles we also have this one right here this um, really nice pretty one that you can use under a sentiment or to adorn uh, maybe the edges of a card or something like that um, again, we have some nice, beautiful rose arrangements and this beautiful basket here full of roses. I think this is super, super cute. And then we have some solid ones so that you can just go ahead and stamp them in one color. Or if you have uh, markers that you can color with, um, your stamps with, then you can go ahead and color the individual parts uh, with that. Here we have this other one. Now, I'm not really quite sure what these are. I'm not sure if these are... I don't even want to say the name. The, the name that's coming to my mind is Panties, but I'm not sure if this is what these are. Um, again, I'm trying to get it together, but sometimes the names kind of escape. But this is another um, beautiful one, and I love how open these petals are because you can totally go into that with some coloring pencils, some alcohol markers, or even some watercolor um, and paint these in. And I think that, that would look amazing uh, once they're all colored in. Or even on their own, if you want to emboss them, I think that this will look super, super cute. And again, we have a lot of different clusters here for you to create any kind of scene that you would like. Now for this one here, this is absolutely gorgeous. I think that these are orchids. <laughs> I know some of you guys are probably laughing. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, I think that these are probably orchids and I think that this is beautiful. I love this vase right here. I love the striping on the vase because I've seen many vases like that in life. So I think this is really, really cute. I love this little cluster right here for maybe like a corner spot or something of that, uh, you know, that nature. We have the single one here and then this really pretty long one here. And then we have some solid ones and then some just little uh, extra pieces here and there. So another super cute stamp set. And last but not least, my favorite, favorite, favorite of all time are the cherry blossoms. And let me bring it out of the glare. And for this one here, we have, wow, what an assortment, what an arrangement of cherry blossoms. I absolutely love it, love it, love it to pieces. I love how long this piece right here is and how also how nice and long this piece here is. And then we also have um, smaller little groups of uh, flowers as well. And I think that this is a really, really pretty um, stamp set, my friends. So again, uh, for this bundle here, it's a set of nine. That's quite a lot let me go ahead and bring you guys back up again so this is a set of nine my friends and again this is quite 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 the assortment of stamps they have a lot of awesome uh, items there a lot of awesome stamps a lot of awesome die sets and um, I'm sure that they have other things as well. So definitely go over there and take a look. And again, don't forget to use my code HAPPYDAYCRAFTS5 because let me tell you, it's going to be a happy day when you get your package. It sure is. And if you can save five bucks, why not? <laughs> and these um, dies, again, for the set of four. And you'll be able to find all of these links down below. And these 
super cute little houses. I cannot wait to put these together. And um, yes, my friends, this is going to be a lot of fun. Now, let me know down below. I would love to hear what you guys would like to see um, me do as far as utilizing these stamps. I can make some um, index cards. I can make some tags. I can try my hand at making another card. Um, but I would love to hear you guys' feedback, what you guys would like to see. I can also incorporate this into some art journaling. So please let me know down below. And I will try to get some projects ready for you guys within the next couple of days. And with that being said, I want to thank you all so, so much for your time today. Thank you to Global Lens for sending me these awesome products for me to play with and try out. And I will catch you guys on the next one. All links are down below. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so because, my friends, I'm having a giveaway on my channel right now. It just started. And you have time to join. And it's going to be a lot of goodies. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I think that you guys will be interested. So definitely go and check it out. I'm also going to leave uh, the link for my giveaway in the description area down below. So that you guys can go and check it out. And with that being said, thank you all so much. And have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Bye.